Hi, welcome to this video. Here I'd like to show you how to perform a structural analysis on a cantilever using ANSYS Workbench. To begin, I'll make the geometry for the cantilever using SolidWorks. So create a new part. Select OK. And here I can start sketching. So I'll open up the Sketch tab and press Sketch. And I'll choose the front plane. And now I'll make a rectangle. Okay, and now I'll dimension here. I want it to be 12 inches long. Uh, 1 inch wide. And say OK. And now I'll extrude this um, geometry and we're going to make it half an inch thick. And I'll say OK. And now I'll save this. So go save as, um, choose desktop, cantilever, and I'm going to save it as a step file. Um, to make it easy to import the ANSYS. And then save. And all bodies. Now I'll open up Workbench. Takes a few seconds to open. Make sure that you have your licenses um, correctly organized before you start ANSYS, else you will get an error. Um, now it's a static structural analysis I'd like to perform. So let's drag that onto the project schematic. And here I can um, import my geometry. Right click, import, and browse, desktop, cantilever, and here's the file. Open. And now um, the material has already been chosen for me. It's structural steel. Um, model, right click, edit. Okay, and as this opens, uh, the first thing it will attach to the geometry. Okay, and here's the geometry. You can see it looks just like uh, when we were in SOLIDWORKS. So now we'll set up the mesh. Um, go to sizing. Well, first I'll just generate the automatic mesh that ANSYS has suggested. And you can see it's quite coarse. Um, I'm going to go to a medium mesh size. And I'm going to remesh. So update the mesh. And you can see this is finer. Okay, now I'm going to define the problem. So I want a fixed end support. So down here I'll choose the body. It will be this end. Click apply. Now this end is fixed. And now I want a distributed load along the top. So to do that, I'll go back to Static Structural, right-click, Insert, and Force. And here's the face where I want to apply it. Click Apply. And now um, I want to define this by its components. And if I want this to be downward, that will be in the Z direction. So this will be the Z component. And I'll make it 100 pounds, uh, arbitrary value. And now for the solution. For my results, I would like to see uh, total deformation. And I would also like to see um, the von Mises stress. And now I can solve. So click the solve button. And ANSYS will solve the problem. Okay. Now that's done. Um, a few things I'd like to change here. One, you can um, add more colors to your um, scale and make it more um, precise for each color. 
um, and you can also edit the way the colors appear instead of having contour bands smooth contours you can change this and you can have uh, show the undeformed wireframe to give you a reference of what it was before um, the force was applied and so here is the von Mises stress it makes sense that the highest stress would be here uh, where the support is and uh, that it will decrease as you go out and it also makes sense uh, because the top face is in tension the bottom face is in compression so this blue line back here this is the neutral axis and you can also animate this I'll choose 100 frames 10 seconds and press animate and here you can see the stress is developing which is pretty neat and then it goes back and this is how you perform a structural analysis with ANSYS Workbench. Thanks for watching.